Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back, it's KB here. So in this video, I want to show you guys the new update and the new features uh, added in OBS Studio version 24. So this is a new update and I'm using the Windows and sadly for now, this update is only available for Windows users. So Mac and Linux users may have to wait a little longer to get this update. And one more thing, when I checked for the update from the OBS Studio itself, I didn't get the update and uh, I had to download the installer and then I had to update my OBS. Yeah, that's how I updated my OBS. So if you're not getting the update, you can go to the website of the OBS and from there you can get the installer and update your old OBS to OBS 24. So before we go any further, did you notice something different about me? Yeah, I'm not wearing the headphones because all thanks to this guy, the comment guy. Yeah, his name is Griffin in real life. He's a close friend, but he hates me when I wear the headphones. So yeah, I'm not going to wear the headphones in my entire life. Actually, you know, I have never made a video without headphones, so it feels kind of weird and uh, it also feels good to not wear the headphones there is no heavy weight in my head anymore and i can talk freely actually it's amazing thank you griffin for doing that comment and uh, yeah now i feel better without the headphones actually my headphones are really heavy it's a gaming headphone and griffin if you're watching please buy me new headphones okay <laughs> lightweight headphones Please, I need new headphones. Buy me new headphones, Griffin. Anyway, now let's get into the real topic. In OBS Studio 24, I will put link in the description for the release note. From there, you can read all the new features and fixes in OBS Studio. But I'm going to show you a few major features added to the OBS Studio. So in OBS Studio 4, they have added the ability to pause recording. This is an amazing feature. So I'm recording the OBS Studio right here, you can see. And uh, next to the stop recording, there is a pause icon. So if you click on it, it will pause recording. And if you click again, it will resume the recording. So one thing I didn't like about this, I mean, this feature is amazing, but when you click the pause, it will adapt the background. It will not change the icon. So the pause icon will be like that. So they should have added the play icon after you pause the recording so that's my suggestion but we can't complain about it because the obs studio is open source and free so we cannot just a suggestion small suggestion for obs developers that uh, if it is possible they should have added the play and pause icon so that would be more simpler so for example when i pause it will adapt the background color like that it will go gray so i'm going to show you here so you can see the background color is uh, red here so when you pause it will also adapt the red that means it is paused when you unpause it will go back to the normal so that's how the pausing thing works and it's amazing in my opinion okay and one more thing about the pause recording feature is that when you're streaming plus uh, recording this pause feature might not work so they say here that uh, if streaming and recording are sharing the same encoder i guess that's what they are trying to say so if you're using the h.264 encoder in recording and uh, streaming i think then you won't be able to pause but if you are using the different different encoders maybe you will be able to pause the uh, recording but i'm not too sure because this does not clarify what they are trying to say or uh, my english is not that great so now the next big feature what they have added is automatically adjust bitrate so let's say you're streaming and in the middle of stream your pc struggles to stream your pc is using lots of cpu and uh, it it can't handle the obs or something like that in that case OBS will automatically adjust the bitrate and uh, try to, you know, 
make the stream smooth but by doing that it might cause a delay in your stream so it's better than nothing you know so if you have a really powerful pc this problem should not happen to you so yeah it's a thing maybe happen to those people who have a you know less powerful cpu okay another big feature browser source if you add the browser source into your obs now the audio level can be you know controlled in uh, audio mixer of obs so you don't have to adjust it from the browser itself let's say for example you're playing some type of music and you know you have to go to the browser and control the music from the uh, whatever website you are using so now on you will be able to control the web sources audio level from the obs which is a great feature in my opinion yeah that's it that's all about the obs studio there are many features and tweaks here and there you can read by yourself i will put link in the description you can go there and read the change log of the obs studio so yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it i will put link in the description for the obs studio site you can go there and get the latest obs studio from there yeah that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye